Hello everybody, Fiasco back again with another video, this time coming to you from Disney Springs to try out Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew. I've stayed away from this place for a while because I just couldn't get over the idea of spending $5 on a donut. But today that's exactly what I did and we're going to find out, did I regret that? Was that a good life decision or not? But before we get started, let me remind you, all these dining videos are brought to you by our sponsors, Dreams Unlimited Travel. Our travel agents are standing by right now to help you plan that next vacation. All that information and more can be found in the description below. But also did get a cold brew, a vanilla hazelnut cold brew with almond milk, that as well with the, um, oh no, it's actually oat milk, but with the addition of oat milk, that, that brings this coffee up to a $7 coffee. So I always knock on Starbucks for being expensive. This kind of like makes them look like a deal. So let's see if that's worth it. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Is it $7 good? No, I don't think really any coffee that, like any coffee, no coffee is worth $7. But hey, you're on vacation. I'm not getting this every day, but if you're on vacation, yeah, you know what, spoil yourself with a nice, nice cold brew coffee. This is actually pretty delicious. Um, you can really, if you get, if you get uh, dairy alternatives as your, as your cream component, you can really tell if the coffee's good or not because I feel like uh, creamer, especially flavored creamer, really masks watered down coffee. So you can't tell if it's watered down or not. If you use almond milk or oat milk, you can really tell if it's good coffee and it, it rest assured, this is definitely good coffee. But now my $5 donut, this is the blueberry cake donut. I am astonished that the donuts cost $5. I'm from Massachusetts, which is the home of Dunkin' Donuts. My, my hometown is actually a uh, host to the original Dunkin' Donuts and I'm used to paying like nothing for donuts, literally like cents. So let's see. Okay. That's really, really good. Um, huh. That is gonna be the best blueberry donut I have ever had. But with that being said, is it five times or maybe six times better than Dunkin' Donuts blueberry donut? Because it's six times the price. No, it's not six times better than Dunkin' Donuts blueberry donut. Um, but it's very good. Will I be getting this all the time and spending $5 on a donut? No, no chance, absolutely not. Do I regret spending $5 on this one? No, I don't regret it. This is delicious and I'm probably gonna get it again. Rare occasions, not something, I'm never gonna show up to a, a gathering with a, with a dozen of these, spend 50 bucks on friggin' donuts. Uh, I'll go to Dunks and spend like $5 on a dozen donuts, how about that? Um, but every once in a while, you know what, I might just indulge myself in, in, in one of these because this is really, really good. And this is like one of their more modest donuts. A lot of them are crazy and have like Captain Crunch on top and other crazy concoctions on top. Um, I didn't really want to deal with any of those. I, I just really like my basic glazed donuts. And uh, this is a really good basic glazed donut. Like, wow, I'm, I'm surprised. I was, I was wholly expecting to enter this video and be like, no, there's no justification for this being a lot of money, but the damn good donut. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this quick little Disney Springs dining vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below, have you had Everglazed Donuts and Cold Brew? What are your thoughts? And would you ever pay $5 for a donut? I wanna know, let me know. And until next time, I'll see ya.